And earlier on, you did mention, you know, Jake Paul, Nate Diaz. Like that is one of the biggest blockbuster combat sports events of the year. Were you surprised that this was going to be Nate Diaz's first boxing fight? And and how do you even think that fight plays out? I, I see people leaning in two different directions here. Yeah, um, surprised. No, like I said, you know, he's he's. I think a lot of these guys that I leave in these these type of shows are are looking for these influential influencer boxing events to get big big paychecks. So, um, if MMA looked after their fighters a bit better, and I say MMA as a whole looked after their fighters a bit better, uh, you'd probably see less people trying to jump ship and just go in just for a quick payday because I think it doesn't look good on the sport, especially if they go over and they're not doing well. Mm. Um, uh, so, um, but with regards to the fight, I think, you know, Diaz is a, he's a bloody zombie. You like you hit him loads of times and he'll just keep getting up and, you know, walking towards you throwing a million punches. Uh, and that can be very, very, uh, tiring for anybody. Um, the likeliness is though, he gets knocked down a few times. So, and if they, if it goes to, a decision because he's been knocked down, you know, it looks like it's going to lean like Jake Paul's way. Um, so, and, and I do see him landing a couple of punches and, and knocking him over, not knocking him out. Um, and like I said, I, I think it's just going to go that way unless uh, he gets really overwhelmed. He might knock him down a few times. He gets really overwhelmed, tires out because I don't think his fitness is the greatest um, when I'm talking Jake Paul here when he gets slightly deeper into the rounds. Um, so after about three and four, he started, he, he can see a, a massive dip in his, you know, timing and stuff. Um, I think if he gets massively overwhelmed, he could probably end up, you know, getting knocked out himself. And I think that's, mm. that it could potentially go that way as well. But if he's smart enough and keeps his distance and just lands a couple of clean punches, he'll probably win on decision. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think, share this with your friends. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned. So jump along for the ride.